Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and I make videos about fashion and lifestyle and today I finally wanted to show you guys my media room. This room has been a long time in the making. I moved into this house two years ago and I finally have finished it. Well, technically finished it. I still have big plans for this room, but for that I need to save up a lot more money. But for now, this will do. I've taken my time decorating it. Everything that I'm gonna be mentioning or whatever is available on the internet for you guys to shop will be linked in the info box down below. Starting off, I wanted to show you guys this First of all, I love this easel. I had my eyes on this for the longest time. It's from CB2. It's such a unique piece. So many people ask me where I got this easel. It actually has a little lamp attached to the easel. And then I have this print from Artfully Walls. I love Artfully Walls for prints because they have unique prints from different artists and you can actually get them framed too. So that's really nice. As soon as you walk in, obviously, your eyes will gravitate towards the screen. Rami and I, for the longest time, did not know what to do with this wall because it's so large. We were thinking about putting a TV in here because our family, if there's not a TV in the room, they will not sit in the room. And it was so expensive to get the larger ones and even then the larger ones wouldn't fill up the entire wall. So then we decided, let's get a projector screen. So we got this entire setup from Amazon. I think this screen is 150 inches from not mistaken and then we ended up getting a projector I think the entire thing cost $1,300 now whenever our family comes over we watch so many movies and it's just a really nice relaxed room even though this room is more like a formal thing I wanted it to be really warm and inviting because we're essentially not like formal people I think we like to have guests and we don't want guests to feel uncomfortable in our home we always want it to be inviting and warm so I decided to keep it that way another big thing as soon as you walk in you'll notice my giant sectional this is nine feet by 11 feet this sectional is from crate and barrel i was very careful to choose the fabric i wanted to get one that was pet and kid resistant it's held up really nicely and it's very very comfortable the pillows that you see are all from cb2 i love the mix of patterns and then if you've seen the rest of my home videos which by now i have a lot of them up on youtube they are all neutral palettes grays whites blacks and tans i think i do want to eventually add more pillows just to make the room look like a true media room very inviting this table is from cb2 as well it's definitely not a conventional shape it's more like a jelly bean shape but what i love about this the most is that it looks like a little piece of art by itself it's kind of sculptural the rug is from wayfair i really like that it's just a solid plain color again i wanted it to be very minimalistic it was very inexpensive this is 9 by 11 this is a perfect size rug for the space and i really like the color and the texture of it because you can't really see a lot of stains on it so this area before used to be just these huge bookcases and it was just not very flattering so Rami and I decided we would entirely gut this whole area and then we put in these little cabinets and this beautiful marble on top of it and then over here I have some more art pieces these are pottery from Jonathan Adler I love collecting these these are so beautiful and unique I always get so many compliments on them over here is a print of Patty Smith from Crate and Barrel this is an art really walls art print and then this one is from society six and over here is a little statue from cb2 again i like to keep all of my pieces in theme with my home so all the art is black and white essentially and then i really love these sonos speakers those are really nice to have because they're wireless and you can have surround sound in your entire home just by the touch of a button and they connect to spotify and they connect to our projectors and then i have my fireplace over here so this used to be entirely a brick facade but we decided that we wanted it to be a very minimalist and clean look this is original wood from the house that we used over here but i am planning on making a beautiful black marble mantle to match 
the stone on the floor and on the cabinet. So that is definitely a project that's going to be happening in the future. And then over here, I have three prints. These two are from Arfully Walls, and then this one is from CB2. And then I have another Sonos speaker over here and Alexa. For the curtains, I wanted to highlight the height in this room. So I picked extra long curtains. I got these from Pottery Barn. I didn't have to spend money buying custom drapes, and this is such a lifesaver. I chose a linen fabric because I wanted the room to be really relaxed and I love how clean and modern it looks. It's one of my favorite features in this room. And then this console is such a cherished piece. It's one of the first things that I ever bought from Pottery Barn and I really love it. It's just this steel and glass console table which fits perfectly behind this really large couch and it's so functional to have. On here I have some decorative pieces. I have this vase from Jonathan Adler. This tiny one is from CB2. This is my favorite candle ever. It's Le Labo Santal. This is a signature fragrance in my home and I love it so much. I love the way it smells and I recommend everybody get this candle. I have this beautiful stone bowl from CB2. It houses our two little remotes in here. And then I collect coffee table books. These are all from Amazon. And then on here, I have this little Louis Vuitton box. I think it looks really perfect on top of the coffee table book. This is the bar of our home. This is where we entertain every time we have parties. I always hire a bartender and this is the most crowded room at our parties, but I love it that way. Again, we totally redid this bar area and I put this beautiful black marble everywhere that I possibly could and I love it so much. I especially love that I have this little shelf built in. It's still really minimalist, but it looks so beautiful. This gorgeous mirror is from Restoration Hardware. I love that it kind of looks old world and antique -y. This sign is from BXX Light and I like that these letters are interchangeable. These vases are from Ikea. They're very inexpensive, but I I like to have hydrangeas in them whenever I have parties. I think it's so cute. These little tea light holders are from CB2. This is one of my favorite artists that I've found. His name is Josh Young, and he always makes these beautiful paintings that are really great just position of old and new. So he's taken like a very antique looking art piece, and then he's put that strike through it to make it really modern and abstract, and I love that. And then I have more abstract art prints over here from Artfully Walls. Under the cabinet, I have all of my bar supplies. And then over here, I have my little beverage cooler. This is just an area where I think eventually I want to put a coffee station and then maybe put some extra shelving over here. But I actually just really like how clean and modern this entire area looks. These candle holders are from CB2. This little bowl over here is where I put all the limes and lemons when the bartender is coming by from CB2. And then this is all from Crate and Barrel, the wine bucket and the ice bucket. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I have a bunch of videos on Hafez House. You can find them in a playlist. So if you want to watch, definitely do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the home and how it's coming together so far. And I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Take care. Mm -hmm.